Hey, it's Curly, and today we're taking a look at none other than Demonic Lord Invasion, the third ever Card Fight Vanguard booster set that was actually released as the fourth set in English. This was released after set six due to the altered release schedule, and it makes matters extremely confusing whenever you look back at the game's history. But nonetheless, this set is kind of interesting because it is the start of Dimension Police as well as Pale Moon. They finally debut in this set. We also have Dark Irregulars and Tachikaze finally becoming actual clans in this set as they get their own PGs and their own triggers as well. But most people remember it mostly for being the birth of Goddess of the Full Moon, Suki Yumi, who also comes out in this set here. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. So this is one of those bigger booster boxes here with the uh, rather big box size and a whole butt ton of packs here. So I think previously I did set six and I think that was the first set where they decided to make it so that every single pack has at least one trigger. I don't think that's the case for this, but these are five cards per pack. You get a total of, I think 30 in an entire box, but these are five packs each, right? Um, five packs, five cards each, sorry, <laughs> inside of each of these. Ahead and crack one of these open and just get started. We have right here um, this Royal Paladin card whose name escapes me, and of course, the Aichi and uh, Gwyn the Ripper in the cover because I think they just didn't want to show up Tetsu and Asuka yet from the anime. So let's take a look here and see what we've got here. Uh, so we've got ourselves the uh, Raging Dragon, Sparksaurus, Dragon Dancer, Ludris, a Dark Queen of the Nightmare Land, so finally a uh, trigger for Dark Regulars, as well as a heal for Pale Moon, and we're going to get our rare here in the Ravenous Dragon Mega Rex, which is just a vanilla for Tachikaze here. Let's see if we can uh, get something cool here. I'm really honestly just hoping if I can get my favorite card of all time here, and if I get her an SP, I will yell. So we got ourselves here Borgol here, and then we got ourselves Flame Magic Dragon, a lot of, you know, focusing with soul in this set. Stand Trigger for Tachikaz, as well as a crit for Pale Moon, and we're actually going to get ourselves the Hades Ringmaster, which is the first ever starter for uh, Pale Moon, and it looks so cool in the foiling, look at that, that looks so amazing. I, we, we were, I guess, spoiled back then, because like nowadays in Standard, every single rare has the same exact foiling. Uh, and that one there looks really cool. Uh, there's the, the card on the uh, back of the pack, the Swordsman of Blaze Palmides here, pretty cool. Got ourselves our first Dimension Police card here, the Mass Police Grender. Super cool looking card. We got a crit for uh, Kagrao, as well as a crit for Tachikaze, and another Mega Rex here. Cool, cool. And it would be great to see a Tsukiyumi, honestly. Uh, not even for like card value, just to have it here, right? We got this insane hungry clown eating like a plane or something like that. Another grander. We got the first seven dimension police. A starter, the worker pod Saturday. Has no effect, unfortunately. Got another crit. And then we're going to get ourselves the demon of aspiration among. This looks so cool, especially on the camera, right? The camera's really doing it justice because it looks so cool. Let's see what else we've got here. And up next pack, I'm would be really excited to see an Amon, actually. That would be kind of cool, too. Uh, speaking of which, we've got Poet of Darkness Amon here. Flame as your dragon again. we got the uh, Karenroid Daisy. I really, really love the art on this card. Got ourselves this Sand Trigger. And, oh yeah, this card's really cool, too. The Imprisoned Fallen Angel, uh, Angel Saraquil. Uh, very cool card. This is sort of a uh, Genocide Jack or Brutal Jack clone where it has restraint, can attack, but if you Soul Blast 3, it can attack to the end of the turn, and if it's boosted by Darker Regulars, it gets 5k, and it's 11k base as a grade 2. So even though it can't attack, you can still use it to uh, intercept, if anything. And if it's your Vanguard, you know your opponent has to deal with an 11k Vanguard. And I got ourselves the uh, Decadent Succubus here. Uh, the Guardian, uh, Oracle Guardian, Red Eye. A uh, stand for Dark and Regulars. 
this crit again, and we're gonna get the alluring Succubus. Probably one of the like hottest Vanguard cards of all time, but you can only really see the full art in like concept art or in the anime. Uh, cause here the uh, art on the actual card does not do her any justice to how they actually ended up drawing her, drawing her I should say. Uh, or, hope you guys don't mind, I'm trying a little bit of a different format today instead of just being heavily edited and I cut out everything in between where I, you know, do the cool ch and then cut to the next pack. We're gonna just try and do this straight, see how it works. I've been trying a couple of different ways uh, to do this in between videos, uh, open unboxing videos, right? Then we got ourselves here the Bloody Calf, which was actually a promo in the Japanese version, but we got it included in the set. So this actually says Counter Blast 2, if you have a Darker Regulars, Vanguard on, Riot, or Place, and then you can retire Grade 1 or less Rearguard. So, not the greatest skill, especially since there is no counter charging for Darker Regulars just yet, but hey, retire is retire. Uh, we got the Dark Meadow Bicorn here, the black looks really nice here. We got Battle Sister Vanilla here, and we got Dark Queen of the Netherland, Dynamite Juggler. Oh yay, one of my favorite cards. Uh, there is another card that you will hopefully be able to see me put together here but this is the Torquise beast tamer who unfortunately unlike in vanguard zero is only 6k base but she gets 3k if you have the crimson beast tamer in your soul so crimson beast tamer is my favorite card of all time and if i can get her in sp that'd be great i already own four copies of her but getting her in sp would be insane especially if i pull it and on video and as well as the secretary angel always love the art of this card this guy looks really cool here the rainbow magician the candy clown and we're gonna get ourselves the blastosaurus here uh, i think the first one was sparkosaurus but this is blastosaurus here it's a 9k grade 3 that if you uh retire it by an effect essentially you can call out another copy of itself by discarding one so it allows you to easily extend it to an extra attack but of course it's only 9k so you gotta have to go first or something like that in this era of the game right gonna get another palmides uh, another sparkosaurus another vanilla here a uh, spiral master and oh wow we're gonna get our first double rare here in the swordsman of explosive flames palmides here looks super cool very uh, sought out their sought out card. Actually, this is a triple rare. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was a double rare. Very sought off their card originally, because uh, if you have uh, three uh, Royal Paladin, either rear guards or uh, you know, including your vanguard. Um, actually, no. If you sorry, if you have two or more, including your vanguard, that are great three Royal Paladin. I should say, then this gets 3k, which allows it to hit the illustrious 13k of hitting into a um, cross ride without the need to have a booster. So that works out really well, especially with like Soul Saver Dragon. Uh, then we've got ourselves here the Galahad here, which is a ride chain for Royal Paladin, Savage Destroyer. I uh, really like this heal trigger from um, Tachikaze's art, looks really cool. We got Savage. Um, Shaman here and then another alluring succubus. Really loving the rare foiling. It almost makes me feel better for the fact that we've only pulled one triple rare um, and nothing else. We'll put that on the side here. But um, let's see what we've got here. We got ourselves another dark metal bike horn. The, like the, the like shading and the darkness. They, like this looks really well. It's really simple, but it just looks really well. Uh, we got ourselves here elephant juggler. I always thought this card was kind of funny because it's like a giant clown juggling elephants. Hey, we got a Tsukuyumi here. We got grade one and goddess of the crescent moon, Tsukuyumi. Uh, we got Alabaster Owl, and we're gonna get another Sarasaquil. Okay, we're almost halfway through. Here we've got the, what was it like, the right side of the box. Um, Almost done here. We got ourselves another Succubus here. Another Faithful Angel. I uh, got ourselves the stand here again. I got ourselves Victory Maker. I love this card just because like its name is insane. It's this crazy looking bird. So cool. Uh, then we're gonna get ourselves the Barking Cerebus here. Pretty cool looking card as well for a Pale Moon, but it's just their 10k grade two vanilla. It's the last pack from the right side, so we're halfway through now. Hopefully it'll mean we'll get something good. We got another Savage Destroyer here. Another Ludris. Um, this is a new one. This is the um, Blitz Ritter. Crit for Dark Regulars. The fifth stand for Nova Grapplers at this point. And we're actually going to get the Vermilion Gatekeeper. Which is actually going to be the uh, first starter. Maybe not, but at least the first 
good to start in the first playable starter for darker regulars. All right. Next up, we got ourselves the rest of the packs here. Still nothing too crazy. I think I accidentally mixed up the order here. Let's see. We got ourselves another great one. Tsukuyumi. Gonna get ourselves the Cursed Doctor. I like the art on this as well. Looks really cool. Uh, gonna get ourselves the Brontosaurus. The Grade 1 Galahad. And then the Skull Juggler here. Very cool. For Pale Moon, it just says, you know, on place. So charge one. Gonna get ourselves again the Grade 2 Galahad this time. Uh, it has the same effect as the Grade 1 of the Tsukuyumi Ride Chain. So they both look at the top five for the next card in the chain, except this one says when you ride over the grade three soul charges, but the grade two Tsukuyumi does the same exact thing. And we're gonna get ourselves another candy clown. And wow. oh wow, we're actually gonna get a double rare here in the Arc Bird. Really, always really like the double rare foiling as well. This is gonna be the PG, perfect guard for Tachikaze. So you discard a Tachikaze if you uh, have one of your Tachikazes being attacked, you can guard with this perfectly, so the attack will not hit regardless of the power. Very cool. Very, very cool. So that's one one uh, triple, one double. So not, not the best pack so far, but I don't know what the guaranteed pull rates are for, for these types of boxes, because I know nowadays you, in modern Vanguard, you get at least um, one or two or no i think it's at least five per box right yeah i think it's five triples per box or something like that um but and i got the prisoner beast another for dark regulars another ludris uh, another dark queen of the nightmare land wow. and hey there we go another double error. complain enough and you'll get what you want um so this is the mirror demon unfortunately it is not the double rare for pale moon that i wanted but this is the mirror demon this is sort of an alice clone so it's an ak grade two that if the attack of this hits, if you have a Pale Moon Vanguard, you can counterblast one. Put this to Soul and call out another card that's not itself. So, pretty decent for the most part, especially in the early game. Um, but, you know, it's AK, so it's kind of hard for it to hit. Gonna get the Grade 2 Galahan, followed by the Grade 1. Then we're gonna get ourselves the Vanilla again. Um, the Rainbow Magician. Oh, we did it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we got Amon. Very cool. Demon World Marquis Amon here. Ooh. So this is a 10k that says during your turn, this gets 1k for each Darker Regulars card in your soul. And you can counter blast one, put a Darker Regulars rear guard into soul, and your opponent chooses one of their rear guards and retires it. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright. I'm happy at least with that. If we didn't at least get one of the big bigger hits quote unquote bigger hits at least in terms of iconic cards uh i'd be a little bit upset but all right that kind of you know makes things better these cards are crazy because they, they were so much better in vanguard zero because this is actually an 8k where in vanguard zero is a 9k so it's crazy how they buffed a lot of these cards um we're gonna get the secretary angel I'm pretty sure this was also 10k so 9k um and then we're actually gonna get the grade two Tsukuyumi, I can't believe this was a triple rare. Wow, that kind of sucks for Tsukuyumi players. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is Goddess of the Half Moon. Tsukuyumi, when this is placed on Vanguard, if you have a um, Goddess of the Crescent Moon Tsukuyumi and a uh, Godhawk um, uh, Ichibiyoshi in its soul, you soul charge two. So this is, I think, a little different from Galahad. I think Galahad is only when you ride over the Great Three. Whereas this is when it's placed, I think, but either way, during your ride phase, you look at the top five for the next one, which is the goddess of the full moon, Tsukuyumi, and ride it if you do see it. Pretty cool. I don't know why I assume that that was a different rarity, but yeah, that is a triple rare, huh? That is crazy. Must have sucked building something you need four of, and then needing another four of after that, and then Silent Tom might have been a triple also, but I don't remember. And... We're going to get ourselves... Ooh, wow, wow. I just wanted to have one of these. It's such an iconic card for me, at least, right? Because I used to use this a lot in, you know, Vanguard Zero again. That is the Hades Hypnotist. This is a double rare. This is the PG for Pale Moon. Such a cool-looking card, man. Love to see that. Very sad I never got to get, like, that in, like, SP or something like that. I always wanted to try and get the full kit of uh, the full card list for Pale Moon in SP, but kind of rough. Uh, I did manage to do it for Nova Grapplers in G, right? I managed to get all of them SP. But gonna get another Secretary, another Worker Void, another Brontosaurus, and wow. we're actually going to get a double rare in the uh, Dual Axe uh, Arch Dragon. 
So another one of those cards that was very good in the um, cross ride era because if your opponent has two or less rear guards, this gets plus three, okay? So it hits cross ride numbers. Uh, cross ride being, of course, when your Vanguard has a skill that says if you have another card in your soul, it gets plus 2k. Um, plus 2k or sometimes plus 3k, I guess. But it just makes it so that during your opponent's turn, it also keeps that power, so your opponent has to work a little bit harder to hit into it, right? Um, got a Flame Edge, Dragon, Karenroid, the Dynamite Do Juggler, and we're actually wow. going to get the freaking Galahad here, who's going to be our double rare here. The Knight of Godly Speed Galahad. I think we've gotten all of them except the Great Zero so far. But um, if you do not have the other Galahads, this gets minus two soul. And this also says you can counter blast two. If you have at least six or more Warrior Paladins to have this get 3k and a crit at the end of turn. And of course, you can, uh, this isn't once per turn. You can do this more than once if you manage to get the counter blast, right? Very interesting little card there. But uh, we'll see if uh, maybe we can get his somewhat counterpart in Tsuki Yumi, but I doubt it. Um, we're going to get another Elephant Juggler, another Succubus Owl, another Savage Shaman, and then we're going to get the Oracle Guardian Blue Eye. Another card that was buffed in Vanguard Zero because this is actually 5k, which is kind of nuts. Right? Uh, a lot of cards. It's just crazy how weak they were in the original game compared to like all the other versions of the game that i've seen it in or more prominently seen it in like vacuum mammoth hate puppy master candy clown and we're gonna actually get the deaf army a lady pretty cool card uh if you check a grave three she can re-stand pretty cool i don't know if you need a nova grappler vanguard uh no actually so you don't need a nova grappler vanguard you just have to drive check a nova grappler which is interesting. I mean, of course, if you have grade three Nova Grapplers, presumably you would, you know, once you're more coward, you just play a bunch of grade threes, you would have your Vanguard as, uh, your grade three Vanguard as uh, Nova Grappler, but interesting. The grade one, Suki Yumi, yeah. Uh, Blitz Ritter, the Brontosaurus, and hey, we got ourselves the, the uh, Toy, Toy Pugal here. Very cool, very cool card here. Lending a hand, it's only natural for you to win. So when it's boost, if you have uh, two or more grade three uh, Royal Paladin units, this gets plus 3k, so it's a 9k booster. That and Paul Medes make an insane combo because they just buff themselves up um, and they can hit really good numbers, right? And then we got ourselves the Succubus here, um, the Karen Roy. We're gonna get ourselves the Spiral Master, really cool looking draw trigger. And we're gonna get ourselves the Deaf Army Guy. Very cool. Same effect as the Lady, but this is a grade one. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what else we got here. Going in on the last couple of packs here, we got another Palmedes who has the same effect as the Great Three Palmedes, except he's just a little weaker, unfortunately. It's really cool that they do this uh, back in the day. It sucks that they don't really do this as much nowadays where they have rear guards that have like grade ones and grade two versions and stuff like that. And you see like an evolution, not just for the Vanguard per se, right? Kind of cool. Uh, maybe one of these days we'll see. We got another Victory Master. Such a cool card. Uh, or sorry, Victory Master is not half bad. Victory Maker is what I meant to say. But we also managed to pull the Circle Magus here. Who is the other promo card that was inserted into the English version of this set for us? Whereas Japan had it as a tournament promo. So lucky us, I guess. Circle Magus is pretty good. I think it sees some play. Um, this was actually in the very first set in Vanguard Zero, which is funny. So I was very surprised to see that it was all the way in set three. Not even originally supposed to be there, right? But Palmides, Savage Destroyer, Savage King. Uh, so I was seven, not king. Alabaster, Angel, and then another toy pool. We got the second to last pack here. Hopefully, we can get one more big hit. We did not get an SP, which sucks. Uh, we did not get my favorite card either, which sucks even harder. Uh, we're gonna get Galahad, Sparksaurus, Black Cannon Tiger, the Cannonball, and oh, okay, cool. We got actually the Godhawk. Ichibiochi here, which is the grade zero for Tsukuyumi, which just says, you know, beginning your ride phase, look at top five, ride the grade one uh, crescent moon, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. 
And then we've got ourselves here the very last pack here for Demonic Lord Invasion. Let's see if we can get a big one. We got uh, the Duzzer, the Borgol. We got the Victory Maker. Very cool. Uh, we got the Pack Dragon Tiny Rex. And our very last card is just going to be a rare in the Savage Warrior. Unfortunate. We didn't pull the absolute nuts and then i have to like verify that none of these are actually sps because right yeah i wouldn't know otherwise unless i triple check the bottom to say if it's his sp but no so overall we did okay we did what um this is double this is a triple this is a triple this is a double this is a double it's double we got three triples and uh five doubles uh double rares i should say right and a bunch of rares so i don't know if you want to complain about pool race being better or worse back then but yep that is that that'll do it for this this was demonic lord invasion here right uh pretty okay set unfortunately when it came out it was severely power creep but there's still some pretty cool stuff uh, it would have been really interesting if we got this on time in english if you want to learn more about this set stay tuned for the history of vanguard video that i'll have on this channel for this set presumably this week if not i'm sorry <laughs> but these should come out in the same week nonetheless uh until next time take care of yourselves and each other have yourselves a damn good one and play vanguard i said that all out of order either way take care <laughs>